I want to know how to make work more fun, efficient, and also more healthy. And then if so, stick around for this video. But first, a little short introduction. My name is Jorik Sikkes and I help entrepreneurs who are fighting for sustainability to break through and grow like bamboo. I do this by connecting them to the right tools, strategies, people, but most importantly, the right habits and the right mindset. If you are an entrepreneur who is fighting for sustainability and um, you're watching this video, then I would really love to connect. Uh, you can do so by just uh, going to the comments or finding me on LinkedIn with the same name as my YouTube handle. Um, yeah, just hit connect and uh, see that you watch my say that you watch my YouTube channel or something, and then um, I would love to help you. I would love to help each other. All right. So without further ado, here is my what I call my sprint system. I'll basically, be covering three subjects. Uh, number one is the pool planning instead of the push planning. Number two is um, the Pomodoro system and the sprint system that I derived from that. And number three will be breaks, state breaks, but also sprint breaks. And I will tell you what they are. But first, where I learned all this stuff. I learned this over the course of 10 years perfecting my uh, workflow and um, while working with other people as well uh, on how to be efficient and how to, um, well, even if you have a lot of people around you in the, in the work garden, <laughs> that you can still be efficiently uh, efficient and do fun work, but still collaborate and have fun with each other as well. The pool planning I learned from Tony Robbins, derived from his RPM system, it's heavily influenced by it. And um, I follow the system, of it. I follow that RPM system um, as much as I can and have my own system based upon it. Without further ado, I will tell you the first thing is the pool planning. So, uh, to do that, I would like to ask you a question, and that question is, when you start out your planning ritual, what question do you ask yourself? In most of the cases, people ask themselves, what do I have to do? Do you do this? What do you have to do? And if so, it might be so that you are a little stressed, that you might be overwhelmed with your to-do list from day to day or week to week. And if so, would you li wouldn't you like to get out of that? This is what I call a push planning. Someone who has to do stuff and he pushes himself to do the stuff. This is where you need a lot of motivation. This is where you need a lot of discipline. This is where the world is a fight. But what if instead you can make a planning that you want to work towards the things that you uh, want to do? That it's basically really simple. All you have to do is ask yourself a different question. And that is, what do you want and why do you want it? What do you want and why do you want it? And then... And only then will you ask how to do it. So that's where what do you need to do comes in. So, if you would, you or me, think about something that you want to do this week. Imagine it in your mind. Imagine that you, uh, what you want to do. Think about something. Okay, you got something? Great. Now, next step is think about seeing it as already done and seeing um, people around you being happy that it's done and imagine the feelings, imagine how you'd feel when that happens, when you've completed that goal. <clears throat> you are now thinking about the why. Why is it that you want to do that thing? Good, and now you can ask the question how to do it, right? Because now you have what I call, or what Tony Robbins calls, emotional juice behind it. Something that pulls you towards. Pull, see what I did there? 
towards the thing that you want to do. All right, so if you basically plan your entire life that way and catch yourself when you're asking yourself the what do you need to do question, think about, oh, wait, I shouldn't ask that first. No, I should ask what do I want and why do I want it and then what do I need to do to achieve that. Hmm? Do it for everything. Do it for your days. Do it for your next hour. Do it for your next month. Do it for your next year. Do it for your life. That's what call the areas of management, by the way. So there's a lot more to it than this, but this is the basics. This is the most important one. This is 80% of what you have to do. And if you, if the, if this is in your system, then your life changes radically. It becomes so much more fun. It becomes so much more efficient because you are striving towards outcomes and not you're not just doing stuff. Don't mistake movement for achievement. Tony Robbins always says. So moving on is to my Pomodoro system, uh, based on my pro Pomodoro system, and uh, it's what I call my sprint system. And what basically happens is I do um, sprints of 50 minutes or 25 minutes, and breaks of 10 minutes or 5 minutes. And then when I do 25 minutes, I do two breaks in one hour, so that you have one hour every time. So 50 minutes, 10 minutes adds up to one hour. 25, 5, 25, 5 adds up to one hour. During a sprint, you take 25 minutes or 50 minutes where you focus on one thing. One thing only. And don't get distracted. Minimize your distractions. So turn off your phone. Turn off as much as the distractions as possible. Tell people that you're in a sprint. Make sure they know what you're doing and when you're doing your sprint. So if you can, try to be as consistent as you possibly can. Especially in an office where you can do this collectively. Now be as anti-social during a sprint as you possibly can. Put in your headphones, put in some music that relaxes and focuses you. Um, because this is where you focus on the thing. <laughs> Whatever that thing is. And beforehand you would have done a pool planning, right? So you have a pool block where you know what is it that you want out of that sprint. Why do you want that? And how will you do it? How will you focus that sprint? How will you do that so that's a sprint really basic and simple there are tools on the internet that I use it's called toggle where you also track your time and you know you can also get some reports on how you spend your time which is really valuable and uh, it has a Pomodoro system in it if you don't want to track your time like that I understand uh, there is also just a Pomodoro time tracker um, yeah I am going to make uh, Part of my uh, digital course that I'm working on, I'm going to make this part of the course and I'm going to explain more in depth about this. And you can find also the links to the uh, tools over there. To the tools over there. So, moving at the third subject. So now we covered pool planning, we covered the sprint and now we have we have one left and that is the sprint break or I call it the state break sometimes I switch them up so what you do during a, that 15 a 5 minute or 10 minute break you can do a lot of things but the things that uh, are the best to do in my opinion after having done this for 5 years or so, or so is working out is one meditation is two and three is priming so get your blood pumping again with the fitness or make sure you get back into a state where you are relaxed. Um, and the priming ritual is something that I will, um, I have my favorite, it's one of my favorite videos on how to prime by Tony Robbins. If you want to know more about priming, then check the link in the, in the description and I will leave a link there on how to get my three favorite videos. And all you have to do is leave in your email address and I will trade you my favorite videos. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we covered now how to do a pool planning, how to do a sprint, and how to do a sprint break. If you want to know more about this workflow, um, I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to do a presentation for I think 20 to 30 people today, like a guest lecture, where I I will video it, it and uh, we'll put it online. So if you want to access that. Let me know and I can send you links uh, when it's finished. So, 
Um, yeah, that was it for this video. Leave a like or subscribe if you like this. And um, this is Jorik Sika signing off. Saying thank you. And remember to grow like bamboo.